Hello, how are you? Welcome back to another episode of the Smurf with a bow tie. What? What's going on? I thought there was an old Smurf with a white beard here. Am I losing my job? Am I fired? I want to speak with the director. Okay, welcome back to another episode of the professor with the bow tie. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to learn Greek language and to improve your life through motivational speakings. And also hit that bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. What? Yes? Ah, okay. Uh, we are, we, they are telling me that uh, we have uh, today we have an exclusive interview of a special guest. What? Of Papa Smurf? Okay, Papa Smurf. In today's episode you will learn how to write and how to pronounce the Greek alphabet. I have my milk. I'm ready. So, let's go! You English speakers say it's all Greek to me for something that it is difficult to comprehend. In a similar way, we Greeks say it's all Chinese to me for something that also we can't understand very easily. So, if you think that Greek language is a difficult language, think the Chinese language, that it is way more difficult than Greek language. So, give it a try. Okay, let's start uh, to write the Greek alphabet, but first let me adjust the camera. Okay, let me first tell you that the Greek alphabet cons consists of 24 letters of which seven are the vowels and seventeen are the consonants. We write from left to right with spaces between the words, like in English. Okay, here I write U because that it means that here I write the uppercase letters and here I write L for the lowercase letters. And here I write P because it is for the pronunciation. Okay, the first letter is alpha. You know it already, the lower case, and the pronunciation is alpha. And I put here an accent mark, okay, because in Greek the words have accent, this accent mark, to emphasize a certain syllable. Alpha. But in the word, the alpha letter is not sounds exactly like this alpha. No. In a word like agapi, it sounds like a. A, ga, pi. Next letter is vita the uppercase form and the lowercase form. Vita, the pronunciation. 
not weiter, but vita. 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 In a, in a word, it sounds like v. For example, vima. V. Vima. And the accent mark. Vima. Next letter is gamma. No. The uppercase form is like this. Two lines and the lower case is like this. Okay. Gamma. I think the word weight. Weight in English. The word weight. Take this letter. Weight. And put it right here. Ra ma. Not gamma. That I heard many to say it like this. In the word, it sounds like g. For example, agapi. G, agapi. Okay. Next letter is delta. The end the lower case. Like this. Delta. I have heard it like this. Delta. No. This is the wrong pronunciation. The right is... Not d, but the. Think the word although in English. Although, the. Okay. Take this pronunciation and put it here. The, delta. In the word dromos. It sounds like v, not delta, vromos. Okay. The letter epsilon, uppercase, lowercase, like this. And the pronunciation epsilon, epsilon. But in the word it sounds like e. For example, the word. Elpida. E. Elpida. Elpida. Uh, next is Zita. Look at the lower case and the pronunciation is Zita. Zita. But in the word it sounds like Z. Zevgari, for example. Z, 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 Zevgari. Next letter, Ita. Ita. In the word sounds like e for example e raclis the mythical hero hercules heraclis e raclis e is theta the uppercase and the lowercase Theta. You may have heard it like theta, theta. Now it's theta. Theta. 
Accent mark here, theta. In the word, it sounds like th. For example, thesi. Thesi. Okay. Yota. A little care here. Yota. It's the iota, you know, from English. Iota, you may have heard it like iota or yota. I don't know. Yota. Yota. Take the word yard, yard in English, yard. Yard, your, your, ye, ye. Take the word yard in English. Y, yo, yota. And also the, the yota letter sounds like e, like ita. In the word it sounds like e, and this is also like e, e, e. For example, the Greek word iasi. E a c e e Iraklis e iasi. Next letter is kappa. Kappa. Like the word in English, kitchen. But in the word, like kitchen, in, in, in a Greek word, it sounds like k. For example, k. Karekla, k. Karekla. It sounds like ku. Lambda. Not lambda. You may also have heard it like lambda. Also, this is a wrong pronunciation. Not lambda, but lambda. Remember the word although. Lambda. But in the word sounds l. For example, lemony, l. Lemony, me. This is like. The letter me, this is like you, okay? And you draw downwards a line, me. And in the word sounds like m. For example, the Greek word magula, chicks. Magula. Okay, magula, mu, the letter ni, ni, in the word sounds like n, nero, for example, nero, xi, three lines, three straight lines. Two curves here and one big in the end. Xi. Xi. 
Ξηφίας. In the word sounds like X. The letter Omicron. Omicron. Like Omiros. It sounds like O in the word. Omiros. The Greek poet Homer. Omiros. P. It sounds like the letter P in English. Petra. Stone. Petra. It sounds like P. Ro. Ρο. In the word it sounds r. Ρεύμα. Σίγμα. Maybe you have heard it like sigma. Also a wrong pronunciation. Remember the word wait and take this the first letter W. Wait and put it here. Sigma. Sigma. Okay. Sinefo. Cloud. It sounds s. Sinefo. Next letter is the letter taf. It sounds like t. Tetradio. Τετράδιο. The letter Y. Uppercase form, lowercase form. Y. You have heard it like Y. Wrong pronunciation. The right is Y. Y. Oh God. Okay. Like υπερασπίζομαι. It sounds like E. Also like the letter ita or ita or like the letter E. Oh, God. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Φι. Φι. The pronunciation is φι. But in the words sounds like φ. Like a balloon that blows out the air. Φ. Φακί. Φ. Φακί. Χ. Not high, I can write it like this or like this, he. It sounds in the words, like my name, Chrysanthi. This is my name, H. Χρυσάνθη. Ψ. Like the trident of Poseidon. Okay. And the lowercase form. Ψ. Ψάρι. Φίσχ. Oh, here we go again. It sounds like ps, psari. And the last letter of the Greek alphabet is 
Omega. It has two forms of writing in the, the, the uppercase form, like this or also like this. I think this is the sign of uh, Omega watch, watches, the, watch, the watches of James Bond, as you know. We don't say it like Omega, is Omega. And the lowercase form is like this. Okay. O me ga. Think the word weight. G. Omega. Oreos. It sounds like O. Also like the, the, the letter Omicron. They have the same sound. O and O. O in the words, but different names, Omega, Omicron. So, what is the key to learn the Greek alphabet? The key is the repetition. You have to write it again and again and to pronounce it again and again. This is the secret. I forgot to tell you something about the Sigma letter. Sigma is the uppercase and this is the lowercase and also has a different form like this, also called sigma, like the S in English, but this is the form that we Greeks write in the final, in the final point of a word. And it's called the final sigma, like in the word glycos. Glikos. This letter only at the end of the words. Glikos. Kyrios. At the end. Okay, is the final sigma. Sigma teliko. I write here the pronunciation. Sigma. Teliko. Okay, I hope you found the video useful. So, do subscribe, ring the bell, gling glong, and hit the thumbs up button to see more content. Thank you for watching. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have the honor to host a special guest in our studio. Our guest is Papa Smurf that is going to give us an exclusive interview. So stay tuned. Okay, welcome Papa Smurf. I would like to thank you that you are here with us today to share your thoughts. I would like to ask you, of course, the first question of my channel is if you can speak Greek. Greek? What is Greek? I only speak Smurfish. Smurfish? But now we are speaking in English. Okay, let's be patient in my first interview. What else am I going to do to keep my job? Okay, let's continue our discussion in Smurfish. Next question is do you know something about Plato, Socrates, Aristotle, Homer? What are they? Are they Smurfs? Plato and Aristotle Smurfs? Gosh! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Plato, Aristotle, Socrates are Greek philosophers, but as you say, you don't know what Greek is. Okay, uh, a more personal question this time. When are you going to be retired? Because you're an old man, you have a white beard. I think that someday you have to make a step back to leave your position to another smurf. 
No, I'm not planning to be retired soon because the money of the pension is not enough. Okay, Papa Smurf. Thank you for this Smurfish conversation and thank you for being here today with us. Nice to meet you. <laughs>